And again, roll back and forth. You may hear a little pop, snap crack pop out of the, the mid-back. That's okay. I use this to help maintain mobility between visits with me from an adjustment standpoint. It lets people do better longer. Okay, good. We can relax. How'd that feel? Feel pretty good? You can do this. Is foam rolling as good as massage? Heck no. But you can do this every single day. Take five minutes. By the end of the week, it's almost like you have a massage. Okay? Next up, we're going to stay in the upper body. For real, because there isn't a whole lot of exercises foam rolling that we can do in the upper body. But we can hit those, those big problem areas. One is going to be the lats. So right in here. This one, you want to be a little uh, careful with. This is right under your wrist. So we're going to start here, a sort of mid, mid uh, rib cage. We're going to bring our arm out. And we're going to lower ourselves down. So we're going to sort of walk with our, our feet a little bit towards the bottom. And then we're going to come back up. Again, you want to want to have a tight core because we don't want to be falling over this roller. We want to keep it fairly tight. Rolling down again. Go slow. All the way up. Feels pretty good. Okay? You're going to try that. It's on your side. If you need to support yourself, you can take your free hand and put it into the ground so that if there's too much pressure on that ribcage, I mean, I do want to be on your lats, but inevitably you're going to get some pressure on the ribcage.